Greetings! It's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up Git SSH on your Windows computer. Let's get right into it. So the first step is you're going to need Git Bash installed on your computer. There'll be a link down in the description below to install it if you don't have it already. There will also be a link in the description below to the official GitHub instructions on how to set this up in case you encounter any issues. All of the commands I do in this video will also be in the description below for you to copy and paste. And the first step is you want to open up Git Bash. So open it up. And the first step is once you have Git Bash open is you want to copy the first command in the description below. And then you want to right click and click on paste. You can't do control V to paste in Git Bash because that can mess the string up. And then you're going to want to replace the email address with an email address associated with your GitHub account. So the final command will be ssh keygen ted 25519c whatever your email address is. If on the off chance your system doesn't support the ed25519 algorithm, you can check out the GitHub documentation for the other commands you can try out. Then press enter. And in this situation, just press enter again, as we're going to let git bash create the file for us. Then you're going to be asked for a passphrase. I'm not going to have a passphrase, but you can have one if you like. Some programs like Unity sometimes don't play nice with passphrases. So I'd recommend checking if the software you're going to use supports SSH passphrases before continuing. So just press enter if you don't want a passphrase. Then press enter again, because we don't want a passphrase, and our key has been generated. Make a note of the file path where the key has been stored, because it's going to be important. Now we want to open up Windows PowerShell with admin permissions. So to do that, we can press the Windows key, and then type in Power or PowerShell, until you see PowerShell pop up, and then click on Run as Administrator. You're then going to want to copy and paste the first PowerShell command from the description below and then click on the PowerShell window and hit Ctrl V at the same time. And then you're going to get two lines for PowerShell and then press enter. This will start up the SSH agent on your computer. Then you want to paste in the other command, but you're going to need to change a couple of things. So where it says you, replace that with whatever your username is on your computer. If that doesn't help, just look at the file path that we were presented in Git Bash, which in this case was cusersmaxodssh slash id ed25519. We just need to make sure this file path here matches the file path up here. And once you make the file path match, press enter. This is good. Now you're going to want to keep PowerShell open as we'll need it for another step in a bit. But now you need to navigate to the ID ED25519 file in the Windows File Explorer. And once you navigate to it, you're going to see a .pub file. I want you to open it up in text editing software. So you can right click on it, then go to open with and pick a file or go to edit in notepad or notepad++. I'll stick with notepad. And you want to press Ctrl A on the keyboard to select everything, then right click and click on copy. Now you'll want to go to github.com and on github.com, you want to make sure you're signed in into your GitHub account, then click on your profile, then go to settings. Then you'll want to go to SSH and GPG keys. Then you'll want to click on add new SSH key. Then you want to give your key a name. So I'll call it YouTube video for Git. Make sure the key type is authentication key. And for the key, you'll just want to right click and click on paste to paste your key into the key text box. Then click on add SSH key. Once that's been added, you'll now want to go back to PowerShell. And this is why I recommend you keep it open because you'll need the SSH agent open to do this command. Then you want to do SSHT git at github.com. Then press enter. Then you'll be asked a question about the host and you're going to then want to type in yes in response to the question. Now your SSH is set up and working. You can now close PowerShell. So now go back to GitHub and onto a repo you'd like to clone. Then click on code, then click on local, then go to SSH. Then you'll want to click on the copy button to copy the URL. 
Then you want to open up software like GitHub Desktop or Source Tree. And then you want to go to File, then click on Clone Repository. Then you'll want to go make sure you're on URL, then right click and click on Paste. Then you'll want to click on Clone. And it may take a while, but you have now cloned the repo using Git SSH. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.